Hi, Terry Shanefeld for UAB School of Medicine. There are three types of biases you need to think about when you read a screening study. In this video, I'll discuss one of them, length time bias. I'll describe what that means and how researchers can design their study to prevent length time bias. Screening tends to pick up prevalent disease. And prevalence is a function of incidence or the rate of development of new disease and duration of that disease. So the way you increase prevalence of something is you develop a lot of it or it lasts a long time or both. And slowly growing tumors have a greater duration of the presymptomatic phase and thus have a greater prevalence because duration is a component of prevalence. If we look at this graphically, here we have an indolent cancer. Down here at the bottom we have an aggressive cancer. This line across the bottom is the clinical course. Here, this orange vertical bar is where symptoms develop and a diagnosis is made. And you can see in an indolent cancer, it has a longer preclinical phase and therefore a greater chance of being detected by screening than this aggressive tumor, which has a much shorter preclinical phase uh, and therefore a shorter time that it can be detected by screening. So cases picked up by screening will be disproportionately those that are slower growing. And slower growing tumors tend to have a longer survival, and there's that word survival again, and a better prognosis independent of how good or bad treatment is. And the result of length time bias is an overestimation of survival duration among screen detected cases caused by this excess of slowly progressing cases, and that's what length time bias is. If we look at this graphically, here's a point in time where we do a screening test, say age 50 in someone. There's a group of slowly progressing tumors, a group of rapidly progressing tumors. If we do our screening test at this one point in time, you can see we'll pick up one, two, three, four of the slowly progressing tumors, but only two of the rapidly progressing tumors. So this is the concept of length time bias. You pick up much more slowly progressive tumors that have a better prognosis no matter what. So how do we avoid this? Well, we want to do a randomized control trial of screening versus a control group like we'd like to see in all screening studies. But importantly, we count all outcomes regardless of the method of their detection. So whether they're screen detected or detected by regular diagnostic means in the control group and the screening group. And then we compare those numbers. I hope this video has helped you understand what length time bias is and importantly how it can be prevented. Remember if you have any questions you can contact me through the course website or through the contact me section on my blog. Have a great day.